finals. We've got a few more matches here for you. And it wouldn't be a Rise to Wrestling royalty event without Queen Rose. Kirby, I've seen you bend the knee before to Rachel Rose, as you should. Show a little bit of respect. The referee needs to show some as well. Rachel Rose making her way to the ring. You know, Rachel Rose had a very successful uh, run in Tampa over WrestleMania weekend, and soon the world is going to know who Rachel Rose is as she makes her appearance here for the first time tonight, and we're about to see who she is going up against. I can't wait to talk about Rachel Rose's success, success during WrestleMania weekend. She wants to continue that path of gold here. a part of Culture Inc. who we're actually going to see as in action later on tonight as well. First off, it's Kaya. Kaya, I'm sorry. All right. Kaya, now this is, I love that the reality of wrestling is known for bringing in top talent where debut matches can lead to unexpected things. I know that you had mentioned it before about Kylie Ray and others, uh, but for Kaya here, all the way from Orlando, Florida, I mean, woo, talk about opportunity. When it stares you in the face, woo, you better answer the call. Absolutely. And here, before we get started, the loyal subject, Brian Mooney, donating $10 for Rachel Rose. And now we're about to get started here for this matchup. I'm excited to see this. I've never seen Kaya Dream in action before, but we're going to see what she brings to the table here against the queen of House Rose. Look, we see Warren here. Already trying to get into the head in the comment section against Brian Keith. That's going to be an oh, absolute fire finals. But already, just I think by default, the Roe Nation wants whoever the opponent is of Rachel's to win, which I find extremely disrespectful. I mean, you know, the, the reality wrestling fans have their favorites, but I think it goes it goes without saying that Rachel Rose could very well be a future Diamonds champion. I think she's got that in her for sure. So for her to and to bring Kaya Dream here for her first match, we're just going to have to see if, you know, she, I don't think she should get cocky like this, you know. she I think she should do a little bit more scouting beforehand. Well, Rachel is actually currently wearing gold in multiple wrestling promotions around this great state. So there is a level of confidence, Kirby. That's the adjective you're looking for that Rachel deserves to have when she competes in the ring. And look at this. Rachel Rose just flip back and forth, back and forth. But Dream now with an arm drag that just floats Rachel Rose completely over. Kaya trained by Devon Dudley in the 3D Academy over there outside of Orlando and Kissimmee. So you know that's great pedigree. And you see that back elbow connects to Rachel Rose. And now a drop kick that takes Rachel Rose down. A pinfall very close to the side of the ring. And look at that. The referee catches Rachel Rose grabbing the rope for the rope break. Daniel Sykes, I take offense to what you wrote over there. That hurts. And thank you uh, again to Ryan Romano and Tom Johnson for the 5 and 10 for Rachel Rose. It is greatly appreciated, y'all. And again, I would like to remind you once again, any time that you do name a wrestler, uh, with your troop with your super chat it will go directly to them because we we couldn't do it without all of you here watching tonight Richie Davis thank you for that one dollar super chat right here and a look at Rachel Rose just trying to choke the life out of dream right there as now Kaya tries to go make her way to the corner but Rachel Rose cuts her off first and now she just continues to ignore the referee here. That's how Rachel Rose plays. You know, I talked about WrestleMania weekend. Rachel Rose competed, okay, listen to this, against the likes of Roxy, the likes of Jordan Grace. Yeah, that Jordan Grace. And let me tell you something. Rachel Rose didn't lose either of those matches with the one, two, three. 
and that is impressive right there as well. That's a that's a big name list right there, and I think Jordan Grace may be the biggest accolade that she's gotten on her list so far. But the Queen of House Rose now calling upon her subjects to cheer her on here as she delivers that nasty knee to the face of Kaya Dream. Donald Green just donated fifty dollars for me to bend the knee. What are you talking about? I've been commenting. Look at this cover. Hold on a second. I've been commentating this entire match with one knee on the ground. Everybody should be bending the knee for Rachel Rose. I bend the knee occasionally. You know, depend. I, at first I do, but depending how the match goes, if Rachel Rose does it clean, I like it. I like whenever she's a good competitor. But sometimes she resorts to um, not good tactics. We're going to call it that. And I just hope that she doesn't Ooh. resort to such things here. But look nice at this. Kaya Dream almost gets the better of Rachel Rose here. Wait, you said you sometimes bend the knee? Sometimes. Oh, that super kick may have been all she wrote as Rachel Rose goes into the pinfall. But Kaya Dream able to kick out of that. I think I see half of Kaya's mandible over there by uh, on the outside. As now Rachel Rose goes for that rear naked choke hold. You can see the referee there trying to get a reaction out of Kaya, but Kaya Dream. What, what does she have to do here to try and get back in control of this matchup? You gotta respect the spirit and the fire from such a young performer. I mean, really just started just a little over a year ago. But it gets difficult when you get thrown right into the pack against somebody the likes of Rachel Rose, who most recently has competed in AEW Dark. So the, the respect and the buzz for Rachel has been spreading far and wide when it comes to the pro wrestling ranks. And now here we see Kaya Dream. I think she was trying to get back into this. Oh, and there it is. There's a short arm clothesline right there. Follows it up with a second. And now Kaya trying to get the momentum back on her side. A kick to the gut. And now Kaya with a high lifted knee. This is your chance, Kaya, if you want to take this match away from Rachel Rose. This is the opportunity. You got to step on the gas. And a back elbow in the, into the corner. Over Rachel Rose. Nakaya. Oh, the flatliner Very points nice. down Rachel Very Rose. Nice. Is that it? No. Kaya's got to make an impact statement. No better impact statement than a debut win here. But Kaya needs to stay on. It's, it, it, it's almost as if the energy there, right? The, the condition and the cardio, maybe not where it needs to be. And this is what happens. Oh. oh, I heard that all the way over here. Ooh. Oh my God, going in for that knee again. But look at this. Kaya out of nowhere catches Rachel Rose. This chokehold could be very dangerous. As now Rachel Rose, she's looking. She, it looks like she's starting to fade. Oh my gosh. Wow. Dead square in the middle of the ring. Look, look at this. This is all that Rachel can do. Just trying to drive her into the corner to try and let her loose. Going a bit forward to get a little bit more force behind it. As now Rachel Rose finally able to get out of that hold. The clothesline misses. Rachel Rose setting her up. And the spears! The spear from Rachel that. Rose. Oh. But Kaya Dream still able to kick out. Wow, well, some would say that's a nonchalant pin. I think Rachel Rose wanted to let Kaya think that she has a chance in this match. You know, it's very interesting. Rachel Rose, you know, uh, there's a huge knee, running knee, the smell the roses that it may want to set up Kaya for, wait a second. Oh, you can see she got that forearm right there as now Rachel Rose is starting to bring the fight back here. Kaya Dream gets sent to the ropes. Whoa. Oh, and a cross body. I don't think Rachel Rose saw it coming. And look at that, Rachel Rose still able to kick out. I think Kaya Dream was trying to set up for another flatliner, but now the queen of House Rose says that this match is over as she connects wow, with that kick. Wow, there is the smell kick. of the roses. 
smell the roses. Kai is going to have to maybe get a rhinoplasty to smell after that. And Rachel Rose dominant here at the Reality of Wrestling once again. And, you know, I think, I think people now are going to have to start realizing that they're going to have to start bending the knee a little more. Uh, start now. They should have been doing it from the get-go. That's right. Listen, don't care about them, Rachel. You continue to rule from your throne room. Enjoy the victory and keep going out there and expanding House Rose. Well done.